Welcome back to Velocity Garage. Today I'm going to show you how I disassembled seat tracks for a Tacoma and made them fit my four runner seat frames. I've got the Tacoma parts we're going to be using. I need to remove the sliders from the Tacoma seat frames and then uh, we'll take these sliders and then put them on the four runner. So what I'm going to do first is Take these parts, put them up into a vise, get them solid, and then uh, we're going to start getting some work done on them. Now that this is mounted up, the first thing we're going to do is remove these small nubs from the seat track, from the back, and from the front. Now that the nubs are ground off, what I'm going to do is now clearance this uh, rivet back here. So that way there's more room between the rivet and the roller that we're going to remove. All right, now that the rev has been clearanced, we're going to force the track all the way back with the, the roller all the way towards the back. So grab the flathead, stick it in there, roll it towards the back, stick the flathead in there again, roll it, force it, and it'll come off track. So now this is now loose. This rear roller is off the track from the inside. Now what we're going to do is force the roller out the back. This is a C-Track roller. So now that this rear roller has been removed, we can now roll the front roller past the spot we ground off. So it looks like that. Now we don't need this anymore. This is the old seat frame from the Tacoma. Now grab the same, I'm gonna grab the same side from the forerunner. And I'm gonna do the same exact thing I just did with the Tacoma. For anybody who anybody who's trying to do the exact same thing as me as uh, me, just want to point this out. On a Tacoma, on this rail. For the passenger seat, um, there's a slider. I'm going to take this off. So there's a weld there, a weld there, and a weld there. I'm going to grind those off and pop this thing off, and it should be good to put onto the four runner seats. So this is what it looks like after cutting up the bracket. Uh, I cleaned it up with the angle grinder and uh, smoothed it out a bit. Um, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the seat track.
These are the rollers. There's a set for the front and a set for the back. What I'm going to do is disassemble these and clean them up while I'm in here. Basically what I'm going to do is just wipe the old grease off. Use a little brake clean. Clean them. Clean the roller. So they're all cleaned up. So what I'm going to do is make sure you put the front towards the front. The pin usually goes towards the front on the Tacoma. So just take the first roller, slide it in. Now that the roller's in there, what we're going to do is take it back in, put it back on, slide it on that way. And then before the roller reaches where it's supposed to go onto, push it forward a little bit and just kind of guide it back onto the track. All right, the front one's on, so now we do the back one. Just get the rope, put the roller in there and then take it and guide it back on to the track just like we did on the front. And now that's done. We've now put the Tacoma track onto the Forerunner seat frame. Now our next step we need to do is take the TIG welder and those two bumps we just weld, we ground off, we now need to take the TIG and weld it on two more bump stops. That's going to actually keep the roller from falling out as you're driving. Now I've recreated the two bumps that were there before on both sides without actually going through the hole that was uh, there from grinding it out. So that's the main thing you don't want to do is if you if you weld that back up and there's a bubble on the other side, the C-Track won't roll all the way forward or backwards. It'll get kind of stuck on it. So now that that's done, I'm going to go back there and reassemble the or disassemble the other seat. So that's about it. Now these parts are ready to be uh, wire wheeled and cleaned and painted. And that's what I'm going to do next. That way it prevents any rust and that way it keeps them looking pretty. In my upcoming video, I'm going to show you guys installing the Forerunner bucket seats into my Tacoma. 
If you guys like this video and you found the information helpful, please uh, hit that like button. Any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. I will answer them the best I can for you guys. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. See you guys next time.